Oh, oh my god, did you see that? I almost totally H, oh, H, oh my god, these guys, they're bothering me. I just filmed an impromptu rap video on my way to this Believe sign. Hello, so I'm heading to Reno, Nevada for the first time. It's about a seven hour drive from Vegas. I got five more to go. Three more hours. All right, I made it to Reno. So I just checked in at Silver Legacy Casino and Resort in downtown Reno. I wanted to go on a trip uh, and just kind of get away for a little bit, but I didn't want to go too far. So I settled on Reno. I thought it would be the next best thing for the channel considering it's kind of similar to Vegas in a lot of ways, so. So, I booked two nights this time, actually. I'm staying in what they call the Legacy Luxury Room, the one king bed, non-smoking suite, and all in, I paid 175 and 12 cents for the two nights. And so it's about 8 p.m. almost, so uh, I need to eat. There's all sorts of cool stuff in the lobby, but I don't have time for that right now. I need to get pizza inside the stomach. ASAP. Also, Circus Circus is connected to this place. I found the pizza spot right here. Just waking up, it's about 7.39 right now. Awesome to wake up to the mountains. It was absolutely beautiful. Seeing snow on there is so different than what I'm used to at home. I think the first item on the agenda is, I wanna see that Reno sign. It's hard to really understand how big that chair is, but that chair is huge. A lot of cool stuff in there. I spoke to someone at the front desk that told me how to get to the arch, which is the Reno sign, because um, this place is a little confusing. There's like no front entrance, it's weird, I don't know. I'm supposed to walk this way, go down an escalator, and there should be some doors to get me out to the main street. So what I learned last night is that the three major casino resorts here in Reno are all connected by an underground walkway, which is called The Row. So that was why I was able to get pizza at Circus Circus last night, technically. I went to the Circus Circus food court, and I didn't even leave the hotel. I just walked downstairs, they're all connected. So if you're staying here, thanks to the row, you won't even have to go outside if you don't want to because so many things are connected together. Right now it's like almost 20 degrees colder than it is in Vegas right now. I can see my breath, got my gloves on, <laughs> it's cold. Anyway, just made it to the sign, it's behind me, I don't know if you can see it. So right behind me, as you can see, is the sign, which has a couple of interesting plaques on it. One describing the history of the sign itself. I think it was originally created in 1926. And there's also a plaque that talks about uh, a film. In 1992, a film was shot here starring Whoopi Goldberg when they had the sign in the background, so that's kind of neat. And then additionally, I don't know how well you could see it behind me, but at the Whitney Peak Hotel, which is right here, right above the sign, there's a giant rock wall that goes all the way to the top of the hotel. Um, that's crazy. Oh my God, it makes me sick just looking at it. I just have a quick thought. I know I've only been in Reno for a few minutes, 
uh, practically, but comparing it to Vegas, to me, it feels almost like Reno is a small city with a bunch of big casinos in it. Whereas Vegas is like a bunch of big casinos with a little city in it, or they built a city afterwards, you know? The casinos were the first thought, and then the city was the second thought. Whereas this place almost gives me the feeling of the opposite. Look, shout out to my L's up to my shell bus. Shout out GSF SIP Tayway, man. The rich city host, man. 400 to no honey. Hey. Are you guys from Reno? Nah, we from California, man. California? Yeah, we when, from California. When did you come to Reno? Uh, man, you know, it's, it's more money and you know, it's, it's longevity. We think it's. Oh, oh, oh my god, did you see that? I almost totally H. Oh, H. Oh my god, these guys. They're bothering me. I just filmed an impromptu rap video on my way to this believe sign that I'm trying to film. Hey, they said they're loving the way that I spaz out. Lately, I've been taking the cash route. Watch out, bro. Watch out, bro. Move your <laughs> out the way, bro. Go, go, go sit back down. Bro. I did not mean to bust your hustle. <laughs> there it is. Believe. It's like a park in the middle of the town. Alright, so I just left that square, the downtown area, the, the square area of the park. I'm heading back to the casino to get some food and to be warm. I just got approached by some guys smoking weed who forced me to film them rapping for like five minutes. Uh, a little uncomfortable to be honest with you, but uh, overall, good mixture of people. Some people were really nice. This one guy stopped and said, hey, like if you're looking to get some good footage, uh, you can go to the top of the Pepper Mills self-parking garage. Um, so that was pretty nice. A lot of homeless people and uh, some characters out here. I'm in search of a Starbucks. I walked next door to the El Dorado because they have a Starbucks that's open. I've been trying to find it. I couldn't find it, but I talked to two ladies who had Starbucks on them. I said, where the heck did you get those? So above the casino at Circus Circus is a giant arcade, similar to the one in Vegas, but a little bit smaller. The front desk at Circus Circus is completely closed. I don't know if it was open earlier or what, but uh, that's not a good sign. Their coffee shop is also closed. Their casino's open, but their gift shop is also closed. All right, I'm leaving the Circus Circus. I'm going back to Silver Legacy. Oh, I'm back in Silver Legacy now. <laughs> they have a Top Golf here, but it's closed. It was closed last night as well. So it's unfortunate, but the reality is is that Reno is even less open and populated than Vegas. And while that might not be a surprise to you, it's kind of bummed me out. I don't know. So it's the next morning, and before I head back to Vegas, I do want to check out one more thing. All right, Ugh. why am I wearing a mask? So before I headed out, I wanted to come here. So I think overall, from what I researched, I think the Pepper Mill is the nicest casino resort in this entire city. I was considering staying here, but it's, I think it's like three miles north of downtown, so I decided not to. But quickly before I head back home, I'm just gonna, gonna pop in, quick pop in.
Thank you. So I've been in here for about five total minutes. I messed up, I should have stayed here. <laughs> this place is incredible. There's even the designer, Italian designer fashion brand right behind me, like right in the front lobby. You check in, you get an espresso like I just did, and then you get a $3,000 Italian designer suit. And then you bet on some sports. <laughs> So yesterday someone told me to visit the pepper mill and go at the very top of the parking garage. They said there's an amazing view of this city here, so that's where I am. So you actually really couldn't see downtown from up there, but there's a good view of the mountains in the background, and then the Atlantis, which is another casino and hotel in this area, you know, off downtown. I also find it kind of weird how so many casinos draw inspiration or modeled after Italian heritage or Italian themes. I like it, but it seems like every casino has, has like Roman statues and everything. Why? Everyone has to have that? Why? <laughs> and trust me, I'm the most biased Italian lover there is, but uh, Anyway, about to hit the road. Goodbye, Peppermill, and goodbye, Reno. Until next time. G, did not mean to bust your hustle. <laughs>